It's this big fat guy. Hey, it's a... Uh, it's a boss, right? It's that, uh... The guy, the, uh, the butcher from the monastery except with a white shirt. Yeah, I mean... I guess looking at it more now, it, it, it could be an orderly. Just, uh, I mean... Especially back More in, like a disorderly. Uh-huh. Well, that was... That was a great Fat Boys movie. Oh. I will not have you talking anything bad about the Fat Boys hit film, Disorderlies. This is wrong. We might as, I think we're just going to cut the video here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this wasn't a very well thought out boss fight, just because they set these boxes here that he can't get up to. And the flamethrower is very useful. That yeah. was uh mad sploits there, dog. That was a boss fight. Yeah, I'm sure that that wall just was overwhelmed by the carnage and just decided to fall apart. It was a uh load bearing boss. Uh, ah, ah, ah. So yeah, we're uh we're still in some kind of laboratory here. Not really sure what they've been researching, but apparently it was uh, necessary to wall it all off and, you know, basically just try to get the hell away from it. You've been researching self-crumbling walls. Yes. But, the, I mean, it's pretty much the exact same kind of idea that was present in the original Fortress level, where basically you had a bunch of possibly failed experiments that they decided to try to get the hell away from as quickly as possible. It didn't stop them from hanging up some random pieces of art in the most picturesque of places. So, it looks like this is, uh, this weapon you're using, the rocket launcher, is razor, like flipped yeah. upside down. Oh, I'm sorry. The vampire yeah. razor. Yeah, Excuse you gotta me. use the print the uh, correct terminology. Yeah. The the but, the necrovision lexicon. But yeah, uh, actually, I think uh, I think the uh, forum user the admiral might have pointed out to me earlier on in the uh, the thread back in necrovision that it basically. It, it just seems like the shotgun and the razor are just the same weapon but flipped over. You can actually kind of see the uh, the shotgun chambering mechanism is that circular thing. Uh, I don't actually think that's where they keep the, the razor rockets themselves. That's just a part of the shotgun. But it, it is an interesting design technique. And I, I also think that the... Uh, the submachine gun and flamethrower, which we are going to be getting later, but not for right now, uh, have a similar design choice. But if by design choice you mean uh, cheap Laziness. cop out, yeah, it's a design choice. Uh, it's uh, we need to hurry up and finish the game. Yeah, we got five pistols here, and it's actually just the base pistol, but now it has a silencer, and now it has a scope. And now it's got, like, uh, I think, you remember from Resident Evil 2, whenever you could, like, do the gun modifications? And, like, putting the little extra handle on the back and make it shoot, like, three bullets for some reason? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. New gun! I wonder if a silencer actually serves a purpose with these guys. And are they hearing you? Maybe they're just smelling you? I mean, they sense your aura. Yes. But, I mean... Ah, uh, whiff. Yeah. Fuck it. Shotgun to the, shotgun to the dome. But, uh, another pathetic secret back here. A flare gun, a box of ammo. They, uh... They really didn't try too hard with the secrets on this level. And I think I missed, like, one or two, but... All that mattered to me was getting the vampire artifacts themselves. And I, I managed to get all of those. It's actually kind of weird. They uh, for the expansion, they only give you like 
20 vampire artifacts when in Necrovision they gave you 30. So I don't know why they wanted to cut back on the, the fury effects. Just seems like a cut down game overall. I mean, they, they give you more bullshit weapons, like the machine gun flamethrower. But then the cool effects, like turning people to stone and sending out flaming skulls, they're like, no, let's get rid of that. Ah, uh, that was too fun. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's do more vehicle missions. Yes. They needed, a, like, a Zeppelin driving one. Because Zeppelins are very exciting. Have you fly it in real time? Yes. Like or a barrage balloon. Desert Zeppelin. No. <laughs> Not ever doing that. Oh. But yeah, um, this particular part's kind of interesting in the fact that if you don't actually head over this heavy machine gun, it the zombies will just keep on spawning and this objective will never finish and sympathy vampire artifact, hooray. But yeah, that's actually the end of the level. We're, uh, we're about to get a little cutscene here, get a little bit more plot, and perhaps a plot twist. Spoiler. Jonas Zimmermann. It's so good to see you, my friend. It's been a long time. You've been rather hard to reach lately. <laughs> but nothing is impossible. As we used to say in the good old days. Ah, yes, our glorious youth. And doesn't all this excitement remind you of Morocco all those years ago? We're not children anymore, Hans. We have more honorable business here than shooting unarmed Africans. <laughs> you still can't get over Morocco, can you? I'll never forget it. But come, we have work to do now. Of course, work. You have brought me the vaccine, haven't you? Yes, I have it here. It was quite a struggle. Give it to me. I've waited for so long. This is the last thing missing. Missing? From what? You've played your part, my friend. Your role is over now. What are you talking about? I need to administer the cure. It's a scientific procedure. It's a substance you've developed for me. You know nothing of what's to follow. Give it to me now. Slow down. What are you saying? What have you tricked me into this time? I'll spare you the unnecessary details. We need this vaccine to control the plague. To control? Don't you mean to cure? These are just words. You always were so small-minded, Jonas. It was you, wasn't it? You set this up from the beginning. You're the one who spread the virus, and you needed me to invent a way of controlling it! You're the cause of all this! Don't be pathetic, Jonas. You can't even imagine what's going on here. I have made a pact. A deeper pact than men like you could ever understand. If I don't fulfill it, then we are all doomed! I don't need to hear about your treachery, or who you sold your soul to. Your new pact is with me. Take me to the lab, let me finalize the vaccine, and then I'll tell your court-martial that you're just a mad old fool, and not a filthy traitor! You really don't understand, do you? There never was a choice, either for me or for you. Why do you think you've survived for so long in amongst all this carnage? Now give me the vaccine and walk away. Stay where you are, Menge. Listen to me, Jonas. No, the time for diplomacy has passed. Last chance. Last chance. You had one, but you've just lost it. See you in hell, my old friend. Exactly. And sooner than you think. So, yeah, uh, actual boss fight, I guess? Maybe? Evil villain? Well, see you next time for the next episode of Necrovision. Lost Company. Beep boop.